Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com, the fourth week of October, 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Music producer The 45 King died October 19, 2023, at the age of 62. Born Mark Howard James, he was the producer of such hit singles as Jay-Z's Hard Knock Life, Ghetto Anthem, and Eminem's Stan. He is also being remembered for creating a hip-hop classic with his 1987 instrumental track, The 900 Number. For those of you who are new to our channel, welcome! One thing to keep in mind, sometimes personal information, such as someone's cause of death, is not announced immediately by their family or the authorities. Every family has a right to their privacy. Musician Dwight Twilley died October 18, 2023, at a hospital in Tulsa, Oklahoma. He died of injuries sustained in a car accident after suffering a stroke while driving at the age of 72. As the leader of the Dwight Twilley Band, he had a power pop hit in 1975 with I'm on Fire, which he also wrote. Twilley is also being remembered for his 1984 hit single, Girls. Actress Elizabeth Hoffman died August 21, 2023, at her home in Malibu, California. She died of natural causes at the age of 97. Her death was announced this week. She starred on TV in the 1990s drama Sisters, playing B, the mother of five sisters. Hoffman is also being remembered for TV roles in Stargate SG-1 and Star Trek The Next Generation, as well as for such movies as Dante's Peak. Television executive Edward Blyer died October 17, 2023, in East Hampton, New York, at the age of 94. While working at Warner Brothers, he had the idea to repurpose the Looney Tunes cartoons, then just theatrical shorts, into TV shows that would prove to have enduring popularity. Blyer is also being remembered for his work to popularize cable television, helping develop networks like Nickelodeon and MTV. Scientist Hubert Reeves died October 13, 2023, in Paris at the age of 91. He was a Canadian astrophysicist, known for his work to popularize science on TV and elsewhere. Reeves is also being remembered for his advocacy on behalf of the environment and biodiversity. Actress Hayden Gwynn died October 20, 2023, after fighting cancer at the age of 66. She was frequently seen on British TV in such shows as Drop the Dead Donkey, Sherlock, and The Windsors. Gwyn is also being remembered for her theater career, including her featured role in Billy Elliot the Musical. Golfer Betsy Rawls died October 21, 2023, in Lewis, Delaware, at the age of 95. She won four U.S. Women's Opens, a feat matched by only one other golfer, Mickey Wright. Rawls is being remembered as one of the LPGA's all-time greats, with eight major wins and 55 total LPGA Tour wins. Actress Elaine DeVry died September 20, 2023, in Grants Pass, Oregon, at the age of 93. Her death was announced this week. Her movies included The Atomic Kid, with Six You Get Egg Roll, and A Guide for the Married Man. DeVry is also being remembered as Mickey Rooney's fourth wife. Casino developer Don Laughlin died October 22, 2023, of natural causes at the age of 92. He built the town of Laughlin, Nevada, developing it around his Riverside Resort Hotel and Casino. 
Laughlin is being remembered for creating the third largest casino destination in Nevada. Radio DJ Dusty Street died October 21, 2023 in Eugene, Oregon. She died after fighting cancer at the age of 77. She was one of the first women to spin rock records on the radio, most famously working for K-Rock FM in Los Angeles. Street is also being remembered for her two decades hosting shows on Sirius XM. Soccer player Sir Bobby Charlton died October 21, 2023 of complications from dementia at the age of 86. He was a standout player with Manchester United for more than 15 years, and he was one of the players who survived the horrific 1958 Munich air disaster that took the lives of eight of his teammates. Charlton is being remembered as a legend of English soccer who led the national team to victory at the 1966 World Cup. Basketball coach Tasha Butts died October 22, 2023 of complications from breast cancer at the age of 41. She had recently been named head coach of the women's basketball team at Georgetown after coaching at schools like Georgia Tech and LSU. Butts is also being remembered for her college career at the University of Tennessee and for her time in the WNBA with the Minnesota Lynx. Musician Angelo Bruschini died October 23, 2023 of lung cancer at the age of 62. He was a guitarist for Massive Attack, the British trip-hop band known for singles like Teardrop. Bruschini is also being remembered for his work with the Blue Aeroplanes. Journalist Arnold Diaz died October 24, 2023 after fighting cancer at the age of 74. He was a longtime fixture of New York City News, known for his Shame on You consumer watchdog segments that held businesses and government accountable for their actions. Diaz is also being remembered for bringing his investigative journalism to 2020 in the 1990s and 2000s. Congressional staff member Bertie Bowman died October 25, 2023 at a rehabilitation facility in North Bethesda, Maryland. He died of complications from recent heart surgeries at the age of 92. He was the longest-serving black congressional aide in U.S. history, most recently coordinating hearings for the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Bowman is being remembered for an incredible career, working his way up from sweeping the Capitol steps as a young teen and developing close relationships with elected officials. Actor Richard Roundtree died October 24, 2023 at his home in Los Angeles. He died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 81. He became a cultural icon and the first black action hero when he starred in Shaft, playing an effortlessly cool private detective. He reprised his role in four sequels and a TV show. Roundtree is also being remembered for his roles in many movies and TV shows, including Earthquake, Roots, Desperate Housewives, and Being Mary Jane. On October 23, 2023, at least eight people died in a crash on Interstate 55 in southeast Louisiana. As of this recording, their names have not yet been released to the public. On October 25, 2023, at least 18 people were killed in a series of shootings across several locations in Lewiston, Maine. This is a developing situation and the information available may change quickly. As of this recording, names of those who died have not yet been released to the public. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. Six years ago this week, musician and songwriter Fats Domino died at the age of 89. 
he was a pioneer of rock and roll with hits like Blueberry Hill and Ain't That a Shame. Eight years ago this week, actress Maureen O'Hara died at the age of 95. She starred in such movies as Miracle on 34th Street and The Quiet Man. Ten years ago this week, musician and songwriter Lou Reed died at the age of 71. He led the Velvet Underground and had solo hits, including Walk on the Wild Side. Eighteen years ago this week, civil rights icon Rosa Parks died at the age of 92. Her refusal to give up her bus seat to a white passenger was the catalyst for a transformational boycott. Twenty years ago this week, musician and songwriter Elliot Smith died at the age of 34. He was nominated for an Academy Award for his song Miss Misery from Goodwill Hunting. Twenty years ago this week, game show announcer Rod Roddy died at the age of 66. He was best known for his work on The Price is Right, including his signature phrase, Come on down. Thirty years ago this week, actor Vincent Price died at the age of 82. His long film career included spooky classics like The Fly and House on Haunted Hill. Fifty-one years ago this week, baseball player Jackie Robinson died at the age of 53. He was a legend of both baseball and civil rights as the first black player in the major leagues. Actress Carrie Fisher was born 67 years ago this week. She died in December 2016 at the age of 60. She became a movie icon when she played Princess Leia, later General Leia, in the Star Wars films. Singer Mahalia Jackson was born 112 years ago this week. She died in January 1972 at the age of 60. Her gospel music sold millions of records and was an indelible part of the civil rights movement. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags across the United States have been lowered to honor the memory of those who died in the shootings in Lewiston, Maine. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Private First Class Charles A. Dickman, who died in the Korean War. His remains were recently identified and returned home for burial. Flags in Wisconsin have also been lowered to honor the memory of former State Representative John Klenke. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of Pleasant Volunteer Fire Department Chief Timothy T.J. Johnson. Philadelphia Police Officer Richard Mendez, and West Whiteland Fire Company firefighter Colin Reedy, all of whom died in the line of duty. Flags in Kansas have been lowered to honor the memory of 21st District Magistrate Judge William Malcolm. Flags in the U.S. Virgin Islands have been lowered to honor the memory of former Senator Alicia Chucky Hansen and Daryl George Sr., the Director of Virgin Islands Fire and Emergency Medical Services. Flags in Maryland have been lowered to honor the memory of EMT firefighter Rodney Pitts III and Lieutenant Dylan Ronaldo of the Baltimore City Fire Department, both of whom died in the line of duty. Flags in Nebraska have been lowered in remembrance and recognition of all first responders who act heroically to keep the public safe on Nebraska roadways. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Air Force's First Lieutenant Alfred Pazella, who died during World War II. His remains were recently identified and returned home for burial. Flags in Idaho have been lowered to honor the memory of Post Falls Police Officer Nicholas McDaniel, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of Abingdon Firefighter Cameron Bentley Craig, who died in the line of duty. Flags in South Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of former Representative Rev. Lester P. Branham, Jr. Flags in Missouri have been lowered to honor the memory of State Correctional Officer Kelly Bernard Rolando. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. 
just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.